Hi there, I'm Rex King. Welcome back to another episode where I review films currently in theaters. Today we are talking about the new Martin Scorsese film, Killers of the Flower Moon. So Killers of the Flower Moon is based off a real uh, event that took place in history in the early 20th century down in Oklahoma and Osage country in which a group of murders took place spanning years and it follows a couple key figures in these murders. Uh... Ernest Burkhart, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, who uh, returns home from war and kind of gets embroiled in these murders. Uh, he's one of the people who uh, actually commits some of them as well. Um, then you have uh, William Hale, who is played by Robert De Niro in the movie, and he's the, kind of the head of the snake. He's the one who schemes out these murders. He's also the one who wanted to basically get the oil money from the Osage people at the time, and uh, this is what he did to try to get them. Uh, and he was also a pillar of the community as well. Then you have um, uh, Ernest Burkhart's wife, played by Lily Gladstone, who was one of the like key figures speaking out to try to get these murders solved, as her sister's were amongst the uh, group of people who were murdered and she wanted to find out who had done it. So, this film is very complicated and has a lot going on in it. It's really about um, kind of how uh, you have two sides to this really tragic story. You have the side of the Osage people and the tragedy that they were going through as their people were dying. But to be honest, it's kind of about how this guy, Ernest Burkhart, gets torn up between his two worlds. His wife, who is Osage, and he deeply cares for her. And his um, uncle's world, uh, William Hale, and how he feels like he's obligated to commit these murders because of uh, the kindness that William Hale showed him. So it really is kind of about like being torn up between two different worlds and not really knowing which world to choose and which world you really belong to. And I really like that. It's also an event in history that not many people are going to know about. So I really enjoy how in depth the story goes. Now, that being said, this film is 3 hours and 40 minutes long, which right now I can tell you that most of you are probably going to think that's too long. And at times, there are maybe one or two scenes that could have been shortened. That being said, I understand why this movie is 3 hours and 40 minutes long. This is an event that doesn't get talked about, and on top of that, there is a lot going on. And you don't want to cut any of it so you can... Uh, make sure you're being right to history here, and I really enjoy that. The thing that makes this film really work is the characters. The way they're written and the way that they feel. I mean, it's really important that if you're doing historical figures and his people who were legitimately real people, that you nail down their characters so they feel real and feel like they actually existed. And I'm happy to report that this film manages to do that quite well. And I really enjoyed um, how the characters were presented. And what makes this work even more is the performances. Now, this should be a no doubt moment. I mean, we're talking about a movie that has both Leonardo DiCaprio and Robert De Niro, and they are amazing and absolutely spectacular in performing their characters. But I'll be honest, the standout for me is Lily Gladstone. She has to do a whole range of emotions in this film, and I feel like she nails them to the letter, and I was really impressed how she held her own with De Niro and DiCaprio, and I was thoroughly impressed with her the entire runtime of this film. And I... There are a lot of good performances in this movie, but she's definitely the standout. The visuals here are really good. You uh, have to understand how good of an eye Scorsese has. The camera movements, the 
set designs, the costuming, all, all of it's perfect. I really have no complaints as far as the visuals are concerned. They're not grandiose, but you don't need them to be grandiose in nature in this film. You just have to have them nailed down perfectly, and I feel like Scorsese manages to do that here. Then you have the music score, and it's really subdued, and for the most part, kind of unnoticeable. I don't feel like it does anything spectacular in this movie, as far as, like, if you're, especially if you're taking into effect what everything else this film has to offer. The music score is probably one of the least valuable things here. That being said, it's not bad by any definition of the word. It is still pretty good. It's just... Not as great as I felt like it could have been, and I feel like it's a little too subdued for my personal taste when it comes to music scores. Now that being said, this film is great. It's absolutely great. If you like historical fiction and you want something that feels like an epic and you really have been like wanting for a film that takes you through a historical event and doesn't cut any corners, this film is for you. Now, if you don't want to sit in a theater for three hours and 40 minutes, I don't think the runtime is that noticeable, but I do feel like you're probably going to be perturbed by that runtime and probably should wait for this to come out of the theater so you can watch it in segments. I do believe this film probably would have been better as a miniseries, but that's just because I really want did more of certain scenes and I feel like the uh, long run time lends itself better to being a miniseries. That's not saying that the movie is bad by any means. It's just when we have the miniseries option, I have to question why you would make a movie this long at this given point in film history. That being said, I am still going to give Killers of the Flower Moon an 8 out of 10. It is a really well-crafted movie. Martin Scorsese knows what he's doing. The characters are all written perfectly, and the performances are brilliant. I really enjoy this movie, and I highly recommend it. So, that's my opinion on Killer of the Flower Moon. What do you think about it? If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.